At the Manchester Science Festival held in October 2009, we organised a public exhibition at the Museum of Science and Industry that celebrated 40 years of the internet and showcased the important work that engineers do. At our exhibition we were pleased to showcase the role of engineers. Without engineers we'd have no internet, no mobile phones, no computers, in fact none of the technology that we take for granted today and indeed life would be very bleak. The internet started life on the west coast of America in 1969 as an experimental network called the ARPANET. For the first 20 years of its life it remained a network supporting researchers at universities and laboratories around the world. However, that started to change in the 1980s as a consequence of the home computer and invention of the World Wide Web by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989. Thereafter, the growth in the internet has been so dramatic that today it boasts 1.6 billion users and can be accessed from computers, television sets and even mobile phones. Telecommunications has always impacted society and changed our lives. From the early days of the Morse telegraph through to the invention of the telephone and then the mobile phone, engineering and engineers have always been at the heart of each technology revolution. Trevor Bishop from the BBC is responsible for managing and operating the live link unit truck which is able to accept television feeds from wireless cameras and link these to both terrestrial television and satellite transmissions. Without engineers like Trevor, many of the pictures we see on television simply wouldn't be possible. Chris Breton and Andrew Acker from IYMAX are responsible for deploying the latest wireless broadband networks within Manchester. Today's internet requires high-speed access from home and WiMAX is the latest generation of high-capacity wireless networking to achieve this and offers an alternative to broadband over telephone wires. Vincent Lynch and Samer Tufail from Salford Electronics are experts at tagging and tracking technology. Here, they are using global positioning systems and mobile phone networks to track the location of objects ranging from rally cars to the museum's 19th century steam locomotive planet. The enormous success story of the internet is but just one example of how engineers influence and help shape the world. To find out more, please visit our website at www.sowhatdoengineersactuallydo.com.